Yeah, it's your boy OG Cornerman Boxing. I have the honor today and pleasure, Mr. Kelvin Davis, 5 0 4 knockouts, representing that DB3 as you see it on his sweater. You know what I'm saying? You, out of Norfolk, Virginia, champ. How you doing today, man? Uh, I'm doing good, man. I'm out here supporting my brother. Uh, he fighting out here September 23rd. Right. The District Center, Newark, New Jersey, on the Shakur Stevenson on the card. That's going to be a second time on the Shakur on the card, man. So it's, it's, it's lit. It's going up. Right, right. Now, you as well, you're progressing your career smoothly. You know, you've been very active. How's your experience been like in the pros? Uh, it's been good. I mean, it's funner than the amateurs. You only fight one time and weigh in one time, so that's better. But I mean, I mean it's fun. You got on these eight ounce gloves, so you can. It's like kind of easier to knock people out, but at the same time, you gotta have your defense right so nobody catch you with no shots. But I mean, I've been having, I mean, I've been, I've been progressing and taking my time and getting more comfortable with each fight. So I feel like the sky's the limit for me. Right, right, and, and obviously, you know, you as well. You have a tremendous team behind you. You know what I'm saying? What's it like having that kind of quality team around you? Uh, it just make everything comfortable. All I gotta do is train, put the work in, and they they got the coaching, they got the game planning, and all that. So I mean, with a solid team, I just feel like personally I'm unstoppable with a solid team. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. Now, do you have anything lined up that you can share with when your next uh, fight? I fight or August 27th in Tulsa, Oklahoma, ESPN. Y'all can catch me there. I'm gonna knock somebody else out again. <laughs> Six and zero with five knockouts. You know and I'm saying I'm gonna keep this streak going. So if y'all looking to watch me. Look for them knockouts, cause I, I ain't coming to play around. We don't get paid for overtime, so if y'all tuned in to Kelvin Davis, y'all gonna get y'all knockouts. Absolutely. Well, what kind of goals do you have, champ? Like in the near future, within the next year, or something like that? Sure. Next year, I'm trying to, I'm trying to at least be top ten. You know what I'm saying, start contending for, trying to contend for some of these titles. You know what I'm saying, I feel like I, I talent wise, I feel like I'm one of the best guys at 140. Mm. You know what I'm saying, most, most guys above me probably just got professional experience, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm only one year as a pro. Mm -hmm. But talent-wise, I feel like I'm already there. I just got to take my path, take my little steps I got to take brick by brick, you know what I'm saying? Just And just get there, you know what I'm saying? Once I'm there, I feel like I'm going I'm to cause havoc in this 140 division. Right, man. Five fights in one year? That, that's pretty busy, champ. Yeah, and I'm trying to keep it like that. I'm trying to stay busy even on to next year. So they're going to start picking up my competition. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start going more rounds. But I feel like I'm gonna still get the same results. Right. You know what I'm, saying? Right. I'm gonna still keep knocking these guys out. You know what I'm saying? Cause my confidence is there. I'm putting in the work. And I got a solid team behind me, so I just feel like that's a recipe for for greatness. You know what I'm saying? So, right. What kind of dreams do you have? What do you dream of accomplishing in the sport of boxing? I want to be shoot. I want to be a world champ, undisputed, pound for pound. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, just, just, just. I just want to be the best. I want to be the great. I want to be great. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be good. I want to be great. Like, like me and my brothers, we set the bar high for each other. So it's like, average is, we don't even talk about average. We, mm. want, the, we want the top. We got to, like, in boxing, in second place, you still lost. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's only a winner and a loser in boxing. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not number one in boxing, then you really ain't really nothing. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, I got to be number one. And that's just how we set our standards, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't number one, then you ain't nothing. So I'm trying to be number one. I'm trying to be the best. I want to be the greatest, you know what I'm saying? So in any division I'm in, I'm going to take over, you know what I'm saying? I ain't scared to fight no fighter. I fight anybody, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it got to make sense, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't... I ain't scary. I ain't no scary fighter. Like a lot of these fighters just be talking and stuff like that. I ain't one of those. I I won't even have to. I don't even have to talk. You know what I'm saying? We can just fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, time gonna tell. Like me and my brothers, we gonna take over this sport. Right. And hey, as you mentioned, you went 140. That's probably it's becoming the hottest division in boxing. Yeah. Man. All them guys that's popping at 135 moving up to 140. And, so and the, they, 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 I, I mean, I ain't running. You know what I'm saying? So they can come. And then as I keep developing and keep growing. I might get one of them, one of them so-called top guys, right, so I can right. go ahead and expose them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And as I mentioned, you being from Norfolk, how special is that? Being from the home of the late great Penel Whitaker and stuff. Uh, it's real special, you know. What I'm like they say, when Sweet Pea used to fight in Norfolk, man, he used to shut the city down. So we just trying to follow after him and do the same thing, man. Like follow a path of greatness and even take it farther than him. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, Norfolk, I love my city. Small city. A lot going on out there. We got we got a former legend, like you said, Sweet Pea. We just trying to, like I said, we just trying to do the same thing and be legendary. Me, all three of us though, not just one person. You know what I'm saying? So all three of us trying to take after that 
after the greatness that Snoopy did. Mm, absolutely. Yes, I mean, he used to like we used to he used to come to our fights when we was we was kids and stuff wow. like that. But we were real kids, so we didn't really understand how much of a impact he had on not just Norfolk but on the whole world, <laughs> the world of boxing. You know what yes, I'm saying? Absolutely. So I mean. Long live Sweepy, man. Absolutely. He's a legend. Yes, sir. You got any shout out you want to give, champ? Shoot. Shout out my brother. Shout out my family. Shout out all my supporters. Shout out my city, Norfolk. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out all my coaching staff. Shout out everybody who, who helped me on, on my path. And shout out who everybody who's going to keep supporting us. Right, right. And for those that may not know, where can we follow you, champ? Uh, follow me on Instagram, Kelvin Davis, two underscores. Follow me on Twitter, Kelvin Davis, one underscore. All right, there you have it. Follow guys. my brother's page, DB3 Enterprises, on Instagram. There you go. Shout out to the whole team, man. Thank you so much for your time. We wish you the best. God bless you. And like I said, wish you the much success going on with your career. I appreciate it. Thank you, champ.